Hey guys, welcome back. So today is gonna be a really straightforward day. I am going to be doing a tutorial on this look. I have a new camera lens, so it's really wide and I'm not sure if you can see the full makeup look, but I'll go really close so you can see. And I'm only using the, was that weird? Whatever, let's try it out. Uh, I'm only using the Tardist Pro palette to do the entire eye look. So this is not a review of this product in any way, shape, or form. However, I really do like this one recently. I think it's really good for all skin types. Also, the colors in it are so versatile. You can go from day to night really easily and it's a really good travel companion. The only downside though is that it's really heavy. I don't know why they make them so heavy, but it is. So if you got like lots of luggage to pack or whatever, it's, I don't know. That's the only downfall, but the colors are really pretty. They stun really well. And I'm gonna do this kind of purpley, sparkly, I don't know, soft glam look is what I'm gonna call it. And guys, can we just talk about my shirt for one second? So I'm really happy with it. It's from Toronto, this company called T-Dot Apparel. They did not pay me for this, but I really do like their stuff. And I wanted to let you guys know that I did get it for 60% off. So I love getting expensive things on sale who doesn't and I always wait for the sale to get it um, and I really like it so big ups Toronto just in time for Raptors playoff season I've been talking about that a lot on my snap anyway I'm gonna jump right into the video but follow me on insta and snap if you haven't already get a daily dose of Aberdeen and as usual I will post all of the products in the description box below of everything that I used don't forget to subscribe guys if you haven't already. I mentioned this in my last video, I do have a couple of giveaways coming up and I want you guys to be part of it. So subscribe and I'll let you know. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know and if not, I will see you guys in my next video. And away we go. So after I moisturize my skin, I'm going to start with Too Faced Primed Poreless Primer and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Generous portions, I want my pores to look as small as possible. So I probably use a little bit too much of this, but whatever, go for it. It really doesn't affect um, too much of the makeup application or the way the makeup stays on your face as is what I've found. There's no rules, do what you want, this is just what I do. Next I'm going to grab my MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. The shade I wear is NC44. It matches my neck. You can see my face and my neck are two completely different colors and I'm going to take about two pumps of this and I'm then going to use a Sephora airbrush brush to stipple that into my skin and we're going to fly through this tutorial so I'm going to majorly fast forward this and now my face is the same color as my neck, yay! Once that is done we are going to color correct a little bit. We need to color correct my nose because of my little scar and I'm going to use cover effects color corrector in the orange shade and I'm going to take a toothbrush brush to dab it in and kind of dab that on. You don't want to swipe it because it's going to not cover up the discoloration. So once that is completed, I'm just going to go back with my airbrush brush that already has some, uh, not concealer, that has foundation on it. And then I'm going to put that over the orange to color correct. Next, I am going to grab the Clinique Chubby Stick in the contour shade. I love this shade on medium skin tone because it is warm and it chisels out your cheeks so nicely without being too dark and grayish, a grayish sort of shadow. I hope that makes sense, but this is 
definitely my go-to cream contour stick. And I'm just doing the usual cheeks because you guys know how I like to do the lot of cheeks. And a little bit on the forehead and a little bit on the nose because you know we're going to take some Instagram fatty fix and they gotta look real good. So I take the time to do it with a toothbrush brush. I've been using it from Neverland Brushes. I will link this product below because I've actually gotten uh, a few people asking me for it. So I will link it below. I got them from Amazon. They were actually really cheap. I just wanted to try it. But they actually turned out to be really great brushes. Next up, we be filling in these eyebrows. I first give a little brush with my spoolie. I brush up. I know a lot of people brush down. Again, guys, no rules. This is just what works for me. And I'm gonna use Benefits Browsings. I don't use the waxy side of it. I actually use just the powdery um, powder. And I'm just going to fill in the bottom first and then the top and then I use the other side of the brush to fill them in. And the last step, I'm just going to take a spoolie and I'm going to um, just kind of blend it out. And I really like to leave the inner corners closest to my nose. Um, kind of blank so that it kind of ombres into the darker part and it looks more natural. And I'm going to finish it off with the brow gel from Benefit, if I can get it open. And I like to stand the hairs up and then kind of brush it so that it looks more natural. So I thought that would look good with this look. So that's what I did in the brow gel. And then next, we are going to use Sephora Bright Future in Tartan to highlight. I like doing this after my brows in case I need to do any cleaning up. It is available. So we're just going to do a normal on the cheeks, nose, forehead, cupid's bow, and a tiny bit on my chin. So I'm using a smaller toothbrush brush to blend it all in to my skin. Once that is all blended, I'm going to use MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I actually found a brush that would work really well for putting this on if you've seen my previous videos I apply it using my fingers but that's not always the best way to get in the corners so I found this brush from Morphe it's just a flat synthetic brush and I literally just cover my entire lid all the way up to my brow bone and kind of blend it out so that it's not like super bright above my brow bone but it's kind of radiated out. I really hope that makes sense because in my head it makes a lot of sense. And I'm just going to do that on both eyes and kind of cover all the way out to the wing to my brow. I'm going to set this. This is a new thing that I've been doing. I set it with Laura Mercier powder and then I put my shadow on. I don't know if I love this or maybe it's the powder that I don't like. But I'll keep you guys posted. It, it blends a little bit better when you put the eyeshadow on, but because the Soft Ochre is a really creamy product, it does need to dry a little bit before you put something over it. So I think I'm going to try a different type of powder next time over it and see if that works. Because I had to really blend it out and you'll see with the eye look. Now I'm going to bake with the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. And I do this on my cheeks and I pay close attention to the line I'm going to create near my eye because that is going to be my guide for the shadow. And I do a little bit under my cheeks with the leftover powder on the sponge. So the next thing we're going to grab is our iPhone. I was going to say palette, but... We needed to take a break to text, obviously, and check Instagram, which was not very exciting. So with that, we we're going to pick up our Tardis Pro palette. Love this. So we're going to use a lot of colors in here, so I'm just showing you the palette for the first time. The transition color I used is Whimsy. So 
you're gonna see I'm gonna it takes a really long time to blend even though I'm using one of my favorite Morphe blending brushes it just it took a really long time I don't know why I guess it was just one of those days maybe it was the translucent powder that I put over it but I will keep you guys posted on how this goes but I did want to make sure that I got a super blended look um, especially when you guys see the finished product I do use a lot of colors so I did put a generous amount and I just did it in the transition zone all the way across uh, the majority of the color being on the outside of the eye. Next, I'm going in with No Filter. It's uh, more of a purple hue. And I'm putting that in the inner corners of my eye. I know I probably should have done this the other way around, but guys, just put it on, who cares? It's all blended anyway, and it's gonna look great when it's finished, so don't judge me. So once that is completed, I am gonna go in in the inner, the sorry, the outer corners with the color Fierce. So it's like a smoky gray color, which I love, and I wanted to do a soft glam look, which is why I didn't go dark brown or black, but I'm going to do the outer corners and just kind of highlight it with a really small brush and I'm just going to use a little bit of black afterwards. So I just wanted it to be really soft so that's why I did it like this. So I just packed it on in a V with a packing brush, synthetic brush, and then I'm just kind of blending it towards the inner part of my eye. Uh, blend, blend, blend because that's what this look is all about. Then the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that the outer corners are really accentuated and it's kind of like a cat eye but not like a true cat eye but I did want like the effect on the outside so I'm going to take the color Vamp which is a really really dark purple and put that again on the outer corners to kind of have the gradation from the purpley pink color and yeah and then we're going to take Minx, which is the sparkly color, and we're going to spray it with some Fix Plus and pack that baby on. Like, I was generous. Like, I probably used half of my Minx. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but I used a lot, guys. Um, and then for each eye, I sprayed the Fix Plus on the brush before I dipped it into the palette just because I really wanted that color to really pop and the sparkles and the shimmer to really shine through. So once that is done, you kind of blend towards the middle of the eye until that hits the darker gray color. And now I'm going on the outside with a really fine tapered brush and I'm using the color Punked, which is kind of the smoky black color. It's like a warm black. And I'm just going over the corners and making sure it's super blended, but I wanted to accentuate the outside of the eye, so that's why I went super dark with it. I also wanted it to look really good in pictures, and that's what this black will let you do. You don't have to use the black, you're just kind of going out during the day, um, but I thought it looked really good in the pictures. So this took a really long time to blend out, spend the time to do it, your eyes will thank you. And then to finish off, I am going to use the color Glam, it's the other shimmery color, and I'm just going to go underneath the brow bone and kind of blend it out a little bit just to put a little bit of shimmer and make it pop a little, you know, we like to be shiny and bright. And then we're going to smudge all of the colors that I used on the top on the bottom lash line to make everything pop and really accentuate the bottom lashes. So I use a smoking out brush to do this. I use the darkest color, darkest colors on the very outside and the lightest colors on the inside. And then I'm going to use the same color glam to do the inner tear ducts to make the look pop, pop, pop. And then I am going to pop on my favorite lashes after I take off my baking here. Uh, I used 
House of the Lashes in Siren. I've really been loving these. They look so natural. They stick very close to the lash line. You can't even tell and you don't need to wear eyeliner. So I was loving these when I put them on. And I did not, I mean, you could if you wanted to, to open up the eye a little bit more, use a nude eyeliner on the bottom, but you don't have to. Um, this is me celebrating my eyelash win, yay, because they went on so easy today. I had a good eyelash day, so that's always a big win. And then you put some mascara on those to make those pop even more because you know we'll be taking pictures. And then I'm going in with MAC Swiss Chocolate Blush to accentuate my cheeks because I love cut cheek on me. So after I did that kind of around my face, then what I'm going to do... Oh, this is a Morphe brush, by the way. I use Morphe brushes for the majority of this look. We are going to finish it off with Nicole Guerrero's Glow Kit, and I use the color Forever Young because it's got the mauve purple color, which we are we brought throughout the eye, so I wanted to keep it consistent. And I'm just using a Sephora fan brush in a C motion to apply this. And last but not least, the lips. So I'm really into color correcting, so. I used uh, the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner to correct my lips before I put the lipstick on. And the lipstick that I chose for this look is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I chose Veronica for the look. And I absolutely loved how this looked with the eye look because it's purple and mauve and it's got like pink undertones, which the lipstick totally has. No, when I put the lipstick on, I thought it was a little bit dark. I was going for kind of more of a light and more daytime kind of look. So what I did after I put on a little bit of MAC lipstick in kind of sexy to kind of pinken it up and give it a more nude look. But you could definitely wear the dark color and you go girl, do you do what you gotta do. Me, I obviously was feeling myself, but I wanted it a little bit more pink at the same time. So that is pretty much it, guys, for the look. Um, I know we flew by this entire tutorial, like, damn, I think I did it all in one breath, which is a first for me, but regardless, we got through it. That was a lot. It's a lot of steps, I know, but this is what it takes. Anyway, please subscribe if you haven't already. I got some giveaways, like I said in the beginning, that I will be mentioning. Finish off your look with some Fix Plus before you leave the house, girl, because you know that's got to go on. And now you're done. So subscribe, follow me on Snap, follow me on Instagram for Daily Dose. I really hope you guys like this video, leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.